Hey there. So, um, tonight I'm just going to talk about and give a little review on this Anchor 6000 milliamp hour mobile power bank. Um, I've been using this power bank now for a couple months. Bought it off Amazon, I think for $26. Uh, shipped Prime, so it was great. And uh, it's been a really good uh, trusty companion, I have to say. I'm very pleased with it. So, uh, let's just talk about it a little bit here. So, um, First off, it comes with a little bag, uh, which is kind of nice. It holds the mobile power bank itself and uh, a USB, micro USB cable. And I'm assuming there's, a, there's enough slack in here. If you were an iPhone or Apple user and you got to put your Apple cord in here as well, it would fit. So there's the um, micro USB cable they give you. And I have to say, pretty pleasing. It's a decent cable. It can handle current because some of the times these are so cheap they can't handle current properly. This one has no problems. So um, I tested up to two amps, no no issues at all. Also, when you plug in the micro USB cable, uh, this uh, jack here into your phone or device, it's got a nice firm click. It's not, it's not mushy. So anyhow, um, here's the mobile power bank itself. So um, just putting this aside for a second. Uh, yeah, the bag is pretty simple. It's mesh, as you can see has a little name tag, does have a drawstring, although I must uh, point out that uh, it wasn't very long after I got it that it kind of came untied here. So I have to figure out how to tie this up again and it's it's a little tough because I feel like if I tie it, I'm gonna take out a bunch of length and then it might not be so easy to open. So anyhow, I'm just being careful with that. But anyways, bag is fine, it's tough. And um, it's actually, it's not just, um, it's slightly padded. So it actually, once the, the device is in here, it actually gives a little padding as well. It's, it's not just a thin mesh like a, like a, a sports jersey or something. This is actually got a little cush to it. So anyhow, so here's the power bank itself. Um, pretty simple looking. This is the 6,000 milliamp hour version, which means it has most likely two 18650 lithium ion cells in here. Those are pretty common, and those come in that type of capacities, like 2800s or 3000s. So I'm hoping these are good quality ones, hence the three, the 6000 total. Um, it's a soft touch rubber, and um, it's pretty nice. It has their logo there. Um, the ends are shiny, and um, one side you have basically the certifications and the capacity and whatnot. And on this side you have uh, the USB ports. One is labeled smart, that's the output and there's a micro USB and that's the input for charging. And um, it's got a soft touch rubber, which is pretty nice, but you know, it's looking a little worse for wear. I've kind of handled it. I guess it's just the fingerprints. I'm sure it would probably clean up. And um, I'm just, you know, you can see here, there's a little bit of scratches and whatnot on this shiny plastic. So there is that, but overall it's pretty good. Um, as you see, you can see the light turning off and on. That is the uh, user interface. So the big deal about this device is there are no buttons um, whatsoever. So you don't have to ever turn it on. Essentially, it uh, has some type of motion sensor. Perhaps it's a little mercury switch. I'm not exactly sure. But you have to just uh, shake the unit and then the, the power is output of the USB port. Now, as you can see, I could shake it and this is a full circle. There are 10 little LEDs in here showing 100%. So as the capacity drops, you lose little segments of the little pie there, um, which is a pretty good way of working, I have to say. Uh, overall, um, the charge capacity is great. Um, I pr usually use this with my Google Nexus 5, which I think has like a 2300 or 2500 milliamp hour battery, something like that. And um, I can probably do two full charges on this with no issues whatsoever. And of course, converting from lithium ion up to five volts to my phone and then into a back into lithium ion battery there's a little bit of inefficiency there so you're going to lose some some uh, electricity to heat there but overall it's pretty good yeah two full charges and i would imagine on iphone which has a lot smaller battery you might get maybe even three although that's probably pushing it but maybe not three charges yeah i think it's 1500 milliamps hour so potentially four charges i suppose i doubt it though probably more like three anyhow um, the weird thing is when I got this, I thought, oh, well, this light keeps turning on when you, when you move it. And sometimes you don't have to move it hardly at all and it turns on. Like it could be sitting on my table and you just bump the table. Well, I did it there and it didn't, didn't do it. But 
I thought, oh, that's going to drain the battery. And um, I was intending to keep this, you know, in the carry case here inside my work bag. So I'd be walking around with it, you know, doing my business. Thought that maybe would drain the battery. But Anchor says in the documentation that there are no problems with that. I have found no problems. I've had this in my bag for weeks without touching it. And then I pull it out and take a look at it and it's full, full charge still. And obviously it's going to have been shaken a million times, you know, during that time walking around and whatever, riding in the car. So that's pretty good. Um, now let's see here, what else is there to talk about? So I really like the user interface. I mean, the fact there's no buttons, great. It's very clear what's happening from this, uh, the LEDs that is. Um, some of the things that are, you know, kind of sucky, yeah, the, the bag frame, but that's hardly anything. I mean, this bag is good quality as well, so we're very happy with that. Um, overall, I, can't, I couldn't be more pleased. So there's a couple strange things with this, uh, this unit though. So the USB port here says smart. And what they're trying to say is that they're designed for not just iOS, but Android devices. And um, you know, the charging standard between Apple and a lot of Android companies, uh, makers that is, aren't, aren't exactly the same. I mean, most Android phones follow like a standard, but Apple definitely follows a different standard. And it has to do with the resistance on the two middle pins, which are normally the data lines. And that tells the device like, how much current it can draw. So Apple you know, says for an iPad, it can draw two amps and you know it looks for a certain resistance otherwise it goes into its slower charging modes and if you know if you plug an ipad into a regular usb port a 500 milliamp hour one like an android small charger it'll just say not charging and that comes with comes with the pin so this smart port is supposed to be able to sense what type of device you plug in and give the appropriate amount of current well i don't know how that works on apple devices but i have to say it's not always so great on android um so you know here's my nexus 5 and you know, I plug it in uh, to this device, it will always say charging with AC, so it charges. But I noticed, I noticed when I first got this that sometimes the phone charges a lot faster on this device than other times. So I just wanted to figure out what's going on. So they'll bring in my charger doctor here. So this is a little USB device you can plug in. And what it does is um, you plug your USB cable into here and then you plug this into there or into a charger and you can see exactly how much the voltage is and how much amps are being drawn. So here, if we plug this in to here, so currently 5.2 volts. So we know the anchor's on. Now the lights, the circles aren't on, but it's still giving current. Now it will, after a moment, shut off. So there we go, so it's off. So obviously it's not giving five volts anymore because it, it detects there's nothing plugged into it. So there's no need to keep charging, not wasting battery. But as soon as you pick this up, there you go. Now it's on again. So what I'm gonna do is plug it into my phone and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So there we go, nice firm click. That's a pretty good cable, happy with that. Now it's currently active right now, obviously it's outputting power. We're gonna plug my Nexus 5 in. Okay, so there we go, now it's charging. But as you notice, 700 milliamps, seven, you know, 0.75 amps. If we go to the Nexus 5 and we check the settings and we look at, sorry, it's hard to do this on camera. We're going to phone and we're going to go to status. So it says charging AC. So we know that it's it's working, but obviously I know my Nexus 5 can charge at a lot higher current than this. So here's what I found I had to do. I had to unplug it from the phone and we'll let the, we'll let the anchor shut off. And then basically once it's off, I'll plug this into my phone and then we'll shake it to start it up. And then it actually starts giving more current. It's almost like if it's already giving current when it's not plugged into a device, then it doesn't give as much as it could be giving. Clearly it's giving more than 500, which is the regular USB. So the phone is pulling, you know, it, it's the phone that determines how much current is being drawn by the way, or your device. It's not the charging, this thing. This can give up to two amps and it will give it no matter what. But those resistor values will determine what, um, you know, how much the phone or the tablet or whatever you're plugging in will draw. Now it's off now. And if I, if I plug the cable into the phone now, it won't start charging. There we go, it's in. Because this is currently off still, so I have to shake this. So shake, give it a little shake. All right, now the phone is beeped, so it's got a signal. Or, you know, it's got a power input. Okay, so, oh, well, there goes my theory, because there, look, it's still charging at 0.75, and uh, my phone has plenty of, uh, it's only at, 40% so it's gonna it should be drying a full amount. Let's just let it sit for a second here and uh, See if it goes up at all Let's turn the screen off on the Nexus 
All right, so and as you can see, it gives a nice five volts, which is great. Sorry, it's easier to see if I cover this. Well, okay, so <laughs> the Nexus has some funny charging characteristics. Oh, this gives you an example of what the UI does. So you can see that this red circle kind of pulsates as it's, it kind of fades in and out as it's charging. It's pretty handy. Um, the difference is if you have this plugged into an AC outlet to charge the anchor, it sort of fills up. And then essentially, if it only has, if it's only 10% full or say it's 30% full, then it fills up with three little segments. And as it fills up, it'll start filling up the whole circle. So it works pretty well that way. All right, well, my phone's not gonna charge anymore, um, but I have seen it go over an amp. I've seen it do about 1.3 amps on here, which makes the Nexus 5 give a nice fast charge. I don't know what's going on right now, but I, it's definitely my phone and it's not the anchor, but I have a feeling that that weird smart charging thing, like the USB jack smart is, causes a little bit of in, you know strangeness. The phone charges pretty quickly at 0.78 amps, but, it's still, um, you know, it could be faster. And definitely when I plug it into an AC power adapter, like a Samsung 2 amp charger, it charges at more like 1.4 amps and the battery charges very quickly. So um, yeah, that's a bit of a strangeness. And we'll just, we'll just try that one more time. Um, but otherwise, I'm pretty happy with Anchor. Like I have to say, for the price, it's very good quality. As you can see compared to the phone, it's pretty small, it's pretty light. It's light enough that you can just tuck it into this um, bag with the wire and shove it in your pocket. Say you're out for the day taking photos like on a vacation and you're not gonna be near the power all day. This in my pocket, it was wonderful. I was in England recently. I This cord is actually the perfect length that what you can do is um, you can actually put the anchor in one of your pockets, plug the cable into the phone or device and put your device in the other pocket and the cable string it across under your belt and it's perfect, you can actually keep them in both pockets and there's enough length on the wire that you can actually pull your pocket out, pull the phone out to check it while you're still charging. So I was able to get a nice full charge that way um, in the middle of the day while I was busy doing stuff. And like I said, I get two charges out of my phone with the anchor. So let's uh, now that it's off, let's just try this little trick again. Let's plug it back in the phone. Okay, and then we'll just uh, give this a little shake to start it up. All right, so, yeah, same. All right, well, there goes my theory. But like I said, I've seen it give, I've seen it give more current, so I know it can do it. And um, even with this wire, I've tested this wire um, up to two amps, and it has no problem. And the most I've seen the anchor give is about 1.5, but that's really the devices I have. None of my devices will pull more than that. Um, let's see, what other thing is what I want to talk about? There was something else. Well, either way, highly recommended. You can get this from Amazon. Works really well. These charger doctors are great too. You can see how much current your device is drawing. You can do various tests. Um, you can buy these off eBay. I think they're like seven or eight dollars. So they're pretty pretty common. There's a bunch of different styles you can get now too. That when I bought it, this was the only one you could get. Um, but overall, handy little tools. And uh, that's it. Oh yeah, there is one other thing. Charging the, the this thing, it takes a while. Um, it definitely draws more than 500 milliamp hours to charge. If I plugged it into a like a six, 700 milliamp charger, um, regular USB, you know, one for a phone or something, it takes a good number of hours to charge. But you have to understand, 6,000 milliamp hours, that's twice as much as even a Galaxy Note 2 has in it, or Note 3. But I have noticed one thing, it war gets warm on the end here. Obviously the batteries are in this lower half here, or lower section, and there's some electronics up at the top. It does warm up up here. And I had a, a two amp Samsung charger plugged in and it was going pretty quickly to the charge. And actually it got really, really hot up here. So I decided not to charge this off of the two amp charger. Just wondering if that was maybe gonna stress this out too much. I don't know, I haven't opened it so I'm not sure if there's any heat sinks, but uh, definitely, let's just plug this back in here. So as you can see, like plugging in the, you know, this shakes it up enough that like starts it up. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. So now we're getting more charge. See, that's that smart thing doesn't necessarily always work so great. Let's see what we're at now once this switches back. All right, so we're getting almost an amp. So that's enough of a difference um, from what we saw before at, at 7.6 that the phone will charge quite a bit faster. So don't really understand why it kind of goes back and forth. And I can only assume it's that the little smart 
circuit in here is just telling my phone things that maybe the Nexus 5 doesn't quite understand. This might work a lot better for other devices like the Galaxy S5 or really common ones. I don't know. Oh, look, we're getting over an amp now. So, you know, I'm not sure what's causing that. But either way, the phone does charge pretty quickly either way because the battery is pretty small in the Nexus 5. But, um, you know, that that's something to notice if... Oh, look, what's... Wow, what happened? We have, like, super low. I wonder if this has, like, bad connection. <laughs> we were getting, like, <laughs> like 10, like, 5 milliamps there. All right, so now we're back to this. So, anyways, you know what? Part of this could be the charger doctor as well. Oh, yeah, look at that. It seems to change, actually, just moving this around. So it's quite possible. Okay, so ignore a bunch of that stuff. Anyhow, highly recommended. Thumbs up. I'd get one of these. I'd recommend this to my friends. I really actually like the Anchor brand. I bought a power supply from them, a little like, you know, wall work for charging phones. That was great. I've got the single cell version of this for other friends for birthday presents. They've loved it as well. I have to say for uh, like a Chinese brand, Anchor, yeah, pretty good. Um, I think it's Chinese or maybe it's Japanese. This is definitely made in China. It says it pretty clearly there. I don't know if you can see it made in China. But um, anyhow, yeah, there you go. So. Thumbs up. Thanks, Anchor.